This is the 47th year of the farm. The farm was a vision of four families that started back in 1965. Uh, their names were Carl Schultz, Orv Shop, George Evenson, and Ralph Roth. Carl and Orv ran it for 30 some years. And finally it got too much for him, so they called up my son Dave and wanted to know if he'd be interested in taking over the farm because Dave worked for Carl and Orv through high school and college. And our family, the Tank family, is not, now owns the farm. It's my husband and, my, and myself, my two sons, Jeff and David, and my son David's wife, Jenny. The farm, actually what it represents is of rural America. How it, is, how it was started, you know, many years ago from settlers and stuff like that. And so they had a vision of finding all these log cabins and all that stuff, antiques, which is, uh, a lot of families say we do have a lot, a lot of interesting antiques that they don't see at a lot of other museums. What this is, is a 1923 Model T Ford pickup truck. And what it was used for at the farm here is when they purchased it, they used to take it to parades to advertise the farm and stuff like that. And in the back, on the bed of the truck, they used to put little kid goats with little children in it. And they'd say, a load of kids from the farm. <laughs> so. That's what they use it for. Here we have a tractor, an antique now, and we have many um, come and they can sit on, especially the boys come and sit on the tractor, and many parents and grandparents say they never moved from the spot. They stayed on that tractor all the while they were at the farm. This tractor here, this Fortson tractor, came from uh, my cousin up in West Jacksonport, and what I can remember as a child, we used to sit outside and we used to sit on it like the kids do at the farm here today. This used to be what the big cherry growers used to have. And that used to be your drinking water for the pickers and that stuff. So, we used to call it the water wagon. And one thing I really enjoy about it is when the families come with their children, how the children can interact with the animals, the little animals in the petting area. We've got some corn we're going to feed. We'll feed that a little later as we go along. I think we'll take a walk into the young stock barn now and show everybody a little bit what's going on. Let me see what time it is. It's 11 o'clock and you know what that means? It's goat milking time. As we're milking the goats, the mother or the dad will say to the child, now you see where milk comes from? The child will say the milk comes from the store. It does not come from the goat or the cow, you know, so that, that's kind of interesting. We have some little piglets here. They're about a week and a half old, and uh, they, um, they take the bottles. They, um, there are two, but there's 10 more over in the other pen. So their mom has, uh, has 12 little babies. And these are little ones, uh, some of our little goats right here. And they're only, some of them are not even uh, two weeks old yet. So they're, they're pretty small. And it's feeding time. Feeding time at the farm today. She's a pretty busy mom. We never have enough kittens. Isn't this a nice one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bet you'd like to take this one home, wouldn't you? We do have an adoption program for our kittens and that works out quite well. And so they're a highlight at the farm, aren't they? And uh, the farm is on 40 acres and um, we have beautiful trails in the woods and there's just, and you can do a lot at the farm. We have one of our new animals named Jerry, which is a Brahmin. And that's a, oh, it's a big animal. One big thing, that uh, I've noticed uh, when I was growing up as a child, there was a lot of uh, family farms. I mean, where children could go and visit with their aunts, their uncles, grandpas and grandmas, and they could go work on the, in the summertime on the farm. Them days are gone because now what, the farms are getting fewer and fewer and you have your mega farms. So parents that do bring their children here think it is a great idea that we have here for them to get the hands-on experience. So, I know I had two cousins from Chicago 
that would come up every summer and help us on the farm, you know, make hay and stuff like that, and they really thought it was great. So, but that experience for a lot of children nowadays is gone.